Good morning. It is Independence Day and I had to come to Walmart and get a few things. I was going to show you some stuff on the candy aisle over there, but they're restocking, of course. That had to be one of the sections they're restocking right now. So there's a bunch of people in carts, they're like the big rolly carts they use over there. So I can't actually go over there right now. I mean, I could, but it's crowded because they're doing stuff. Um, and then I thought about showing you the chips, but then I thought, let's look at cleaning products. I don't know if you've ever seen, um, I think I've, I think I've brought you over here before, um, but we have a lot of cleaning products. Like over here, these are all, like if you look here, all of these are dishwashing liquids. These are not the things that, this is not what you're using your dishwasher, but look, it goes all the way down. And then there's a whole other aisle over there that we can look at. Um, so you have, you have these, you can get these giant bottles of dishwashing liquid. Uh, Dawn is a popular brand. They have all different flavors. I call it flavors because it always makes me chuckle. But this is the original Dawn, the blue. That reminds me of my childhood. My mom always bought the, just the plain old blue Dawn when I was growing up. But they have Dawn Platinum, which has four times more grease cleaning power. You know, I tried that one time. I couldn't really tell a difference. And you can get these adorable little <laughs> baby bottles of Dawn for 97 cents. Um, yeah, so you can get those. And you can even get this little pump thing, which it has this pump top and it comes out in a little, like a foam, which is going to bubble up as soon as you add it to water, but I don't know. And then you can get the great value version, which is a lot cheaper. Well, actually it's not a lot cheaper, but it's a, uh, this is 244 and this one is 194. So it's a little cheaper. They have Dawn Escapes, Fu Fu Fuji Cherry Blossom Scent or Orange Scent. Um, and then we have stuff like uh, seventh generation which is um like a natural dish liquid and then there's good old joy if y'all remember this stuff's been around forever they still make it um i remember sometimes my mom would buy this i think my grandmother used this normally she'd buy dome though and they have ivory which is supposed to be gentle on your hands my favorite and I, I'll just get the Walmart version because it's exactly the same. Um, is the Dawn Gentle Clean, the pomegranate flavor. Um, I just, I get this one because it's about half as much as you get a bigger bottle and it's cheaper. And it, I get a big bottle like that. I actually just bought some. Um, I wash my dishes in the sink all the time. I don't bother with the dishwasher. Um, and now Gain even makes dishwashing liquid. They used to just make laundry detergent you can get these giant refill bottles of that palm olive is another popular brand ajax has been around forever um, so they have a bunch of different types so these are all the liquid dishwashing uh, all the dishwashing liquids and then you have the dishwashing detergent which you use in your washing machine we have these little pods gel packs a lot of companies make those now, like Finish is a brand that we have a lot of, or Cascade. We did have a dishwasher and we used Cascade, but we used the powder, the powder Cascade. I don't even see it. Um, they had the Cascade pods, but I don't see the, where's the powder? I don't even see it. Well, anyway. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. That's the powder. This is what we'd use, and it has a little metal thing on the side that you, a little spout that you pull out, like that. But there, when I was growing up, there weren't store brand dishwashing detergents and things, so you had to buy brand name. If there had been store brands, we probably would have bought it. And then you come over here, and you have all kinds of cleaning products. Look at these cute little sponges. It's um, <laughs> it's early, it's early in the morning, so they're they're stocking and doing stuff. There've been a lot of announcements over the uh, loudspeaker and latex gloves. Ooh, these are 
Something about these looks kind of creepy. They're red, and for some reason that just looks creepy to me. <laughs> I think I like the teal ones better. These are nice. I like those. Um, and then they have fancy gloves. Where are the fancy gloves? I just saw some. Where'd they go? Are they down here? Yeah, yeah. Look at glam gloves. Latex dishwashing gloves. <laughs> and they have this animal print stuff on them. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Um, and then we have these uh, Swiffer things like, here's one that's, you know, I don't go there. I don't know where you go, but you don't go there. Flip mop refills. So you get you buy these little dust mops. I have one of these, and it's really great if you have uh, laminate or hardwood floors. And you just take this off, and you can just wash it. Um, I'm looking to see where it went. Um, no, it's not. I'm gonna set it there. Let it live there. This whole aisle is a mess. Um, I don't I don't know where this stuff goes. Um, the tags are impossibly tiny. I don't have my glasses on, but um, we have a lot of options as far as cleaning your floor. You have the Swiffer Swift Sweeper Dry plus wet, uh, and then the Walmart version of it. Extra large, wet jet, and then you have these big containers that have these refills that you put on your Swiffer. Wet jet wood. I haven't seen that one. Oh, it's probably because it's new. I might have to check that out. You know, I was thinking about I have a lot of laminate downstairs and it's a pain in the butt to get the mop and the mop and the bucket out all the time. Something like this might be nice just to clean little areas, you know. And then there's Bona, which I've I don't look at this aisle much. I'm not familiar with it. And that's just another um, spray mop. And then you have disinfecting wipes. And they've started carrying the school packs. Um, yes, here where we live, um, you are asked to supply stuff for school. Now, when I was in school, that was not required. We were never asked to bring this kind of stuff to school. Um, basically, bring a pencil and you're good to go. Maybe, maybe some notebook paper, but... No, now you are asked to supply stuff like wipes. So they sell these school packs, and these are good. They're $13, but I usually get at least, good morning, I usually get at least one pack for each of my kids because um, the, the teachers use a lot of these in the classroom. Um, and you, you can get the, these, you can get even individual packs if you want to. I just go ahead and get one of the big ones because usually about halfway through the year they start asking for more. <laughs> so, or you could get the the Walmart version. It's a little bit cheaper. It's ten twenty two. Um, and they have they have those are Clorox and these are Lysol. Um, I have a sensitivity to to chlorine, so um, a lot of times I'll buy Lysol just because if I were using these at home, that's what I would get because I can't. I can't really use, I can't really use those and they have they have scented ones too like uh, fresh beginnings and brand new day I wonder what a brand new day smells like I'm gonna tell you some of my brand new days some um, are not too appealing they smell like breath that would kill a goat and it smells like me wanting to go back to bed so and these are just cleaners. This is one that I use all the time. This is just Lysol all-purpose cleaner. I use this for everything, especially in the kitchen and in the bathrooms. That's that's what I use. Um, and you can get a two-pack of that. They did have a Walmart version, but I don't I don't see it now. It used to be one that Walmart made. Oh, here it is. That I don't know why they got it way up there, but that's it. It's a little bit cheaper. I usually, if I see that one, I usually get it. It's, it's basically the same thing. And then we have glass cleaner. I don't actually buy my glass cleaner in the cleaning aisle. There is a glass cleaner in the automotive section for uh, car windshields. And I, 
right now I'm blanking on the name of it, but it is the best glass cleaner I have ever used. I don't even bother with this Windex stuff anymore. Um, but it's if you're looking for a really good glass cleaner, and I use it inside, I don't just use it in the car. Um, I'll go over, I'll walk over there later and see if I can look at the name of it, and I'll put it in the uh, the description. And then you have your Pine Saw, which is just a multi-purpose multi-purpose cleaner and deodorizer. Fabuloso. You could get these giant bottles of that, or the Walmart version. Um, pine, you know, more Pine Saw down there. They even have some that looks like blue Kool-Aid. What is this? This is Sparkling Sparkling Wave. Personally, when I'm cleaning, I either want it. I usually want to get just the plain old lemon scent. I'm not a big fan of the pine scent because that just smells like Saturday morning chores as a child. <laughs> then we have Pledge, uh, which is furniture spray, like a nice spray polish for your stuff. I, I use that. I just use the, the original, just the regular lemon scented Pledge. Well, that's actually Favor. But I use just the lemon ledge. And Murphy's Oil Soap. This is what I use to clean my floors. I use Murphy's Oil Soap, a bucket, and a, a rag mop. This is, um, it's vegetable oil soap. They love that loudspeaker in the mornings, I tell you. They have these little walkie-talkies that they could use, and I don't know why they have to announce so much stuff over the thing. They don't do it as much later in the day. Look at that fancy fly swatter. It's put on there. They put the clip strip on funny. There we go. Swift Swat. Oh, that's cool. Swat Sweet Scoop. So you don't have to... I usually just grab a napkin and pick it up with that. Um, and then... Oh, this is um, carpet cleaner. Resolve. What? Where's the one I buy? I get the heavy, the high traffic kind, and it actually works on your car upholstery too, if you have uh, stains on your upholstery. Where is it? It's not Pet Expert. Maybe it was something like this, but it was high traffic, the high traffic version. And yeah, it works great. Goo Gone is a wonderful product too. This, um, this is great for getting stickers and stuff off things or glue. Um, yeah, it's a great general purpose product. This is bug stuff. They, this, okay, that's, well, that's not cleaner. Let's look up here. So you come around the corner and we have a whole end cap of Dawn. Yeah, and then we come over here. Now over here, it just keeps going. Now see, you come down here. These are laundry products and bleach. Look at all the bleach. You could get bleach for days in here. They have different flavors of bleach. They have lavender. Oh, what is this? That's clean linen. I do normally get the flavored bleach because it smells a little bit better. Like I'll get, the, the lavender is pretty nice. I always get the Clorox brand, brand bleach because I, it, maybe it's psychological, but I think it works a little bit better. Uh, fresh meadow bleach. They do smell a little better. Um, these are these are good if you worry about splashes like Clorox Splashless. Um, and the way it's it's almost like a gel, and it doesn't splash when it pours out. I keep I keep that in my little laundry area. I do use bleach sometimes on towels and um, stuff that needs it occasionally but I make sure to rinse it very thoroughly to get all the bleach out and then over here you have what now these used to be called when I was a kid these were called washing powders and a lot of people down south still call them washing powders it's just um, powdered laundry detergent um, like you have Roma a lot of these we didn't have a few years ago, but we do. We have a lot of washing powders now. Um, I guess there's a demand for it, but like you just buy these bags. I don't like them because when you handle them, they leave this residue on your hand, and you can see where it gets on the shelf there. Um, I, I like liquid laundry detergent. I don't like the powder kind. 
This over here is all fabric softener. All these, look at all, look at all these choices. I mean, you're spoiled for choice. I like the, the fabric softener sheets personally. I don't like dealing with the liquid fabric softener. These are unstoppables. I've never tried these, but I hear they're wonderful. It's an in-wash scent booster. Downy Sport. I need that for my kids. They've, they've just reached the age where they just smell funky all the time. It's pitiful up in my house. They both do. My, my younger son is nine and he's already, well my, my older son when he was eight smelled like a lumberjack half the time. He just, woo. He hit that funky age early. I even took him to the dermatologist and she said, no, that's um, actually quite common. It's becoming more common all the time that kids are hitting that funky age early. <laughs> So basically just get him to shower more and make him wear deodorant every day. So yeah, so he um and my nine year old is uh starting to have the same problem. Oh look, it's wool wool dryer balls. Well I know that she hated to give that up. Sorry, I couldn't resist. That's a heck of a sacrifice for your laundry. I hope you appreciate it. OxyClean, that's a good general purpose cleaner. It, it actually does work. It helps get stains out and make things whiter. Then you have regular old, good old fashioned borax. Um, super washing soda. And this stuff, which I never did know what it was. This is, it's a laundry bar and stain remover. It's like a bar of soap, but it, it has something to do with the laundry and I'll be honest I don't I don't really understand it so I, I don't I'm gonna back away slowly because I don't even know what that is um pure X has been around forever uh, this is toilet stuff like uh, you have these tablets that you put in your toilet to keep it from getting stainy and yucky lots of toilet cleaning products a toilet wand um, actually I need some of this stuff I use I just use this in a brush. I don't need to get all fancy with it. I need to take some of that home with me. Like you can get a two pack for $3.33, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, let's see. Then we have hair, we have drain cleaners like Drano, Liquid Plumber, stuff like that. And then spray cleaners, we have a lot of these. This is my, my favorite and my kid's favorite. One of my, older son, my old, one of my older son's chores is cleaning the, the bathtubs and shower stalls, you know? And he has to use this stuff. And he likes this kind because it's like, you feel like you're spray painting the inside of the tub. You spray it on and it comes out blue. <laughs> now, if you, don't, if you don't approve of using stuff like this, you don't have to tell me, you know, we can agree to disagree, but this is what I prefer I use either Kaboom or just the plain old scrubbing bubbles. Um, the Kaboom, like I said, is fun because it's blue. And they have fresh scent and lemon citrus. I think I bought the fresh scent last time and he thought that was hilarious. <laughs> um, and then there are spray, uh, just spray cleaners. Like you can get Kaboom no drip phone and there's even a dollar off coupon stuck on there. That's a good deal scrubbing bubbles, bathroom grime fighter. It removes 100% of soap scum. I'll have to try it. I don't think I've tried that. God, that's so scary. It comes in a plastic bag. Ooh. Ooh, that's frightening. Okay, let's see. And then you can get these cute little bottles. Well, this one's been decapitated. It's got a lid on it, but you can get these little multi-purpose spray bottles and it has the the markings for the ounces on the on the side. What happened to the nozzle? There's one back there. I don't know. That one's just you can get bigger ones too. These are these are actually cheaper. These are 98 cents. Or you can get Oh, this one sprays at any angle. Oh, I like that. Those are 2.98. Oh, a glass and tile scraper. Cool. Look at that. You can get all kinds of stuff with that. 
Um, and here's a shower squeegee. All-purpose brushes. These are this is made by Clorox, and these are Quickie. That's another brand. They make mops and stuff too. An adorable little folding step stool. That's little. And then you just have your plain old toilet brushes down there, or you can get a pack of two toilet brushes. They come in their own little caddy. These have microband that the antimicrobial stuff on it. Oh Lord, I need one of these, a microfiber blind duster. Seriously, I do. That's four dollars. I have to come back and grab one of those. That's my older son has extra chores this summer. He's working off some debt. You get him to dust all the blinds in the house. That'll take him at least a day or two. And Libman, that's a brand of, they make, I think they make mops too. And it comes with a giant dustpan. Um, and then we have some more mops over here. The, we have Libman mops. Now, personally, I, I've tried some of these different fancy schmancy mops. I don't like them. I keep coming back to just the plain old uh, rag cotton mops like this right here that have the just it's like hair you know like that right there that's what I keep coming back to that's that's what I use just a plain old mop and to me they work better than the other ones I just like them better um, they even have gloves over here more glam gloves these are cute these are orange I like the blue ones with the um, polka dots too. That's cool. But we've skipped a whole bunch of stuff. Like you come over here and you have liquid laundry detergent. Look at, good lord, look at the size of that thing. This is um, 300 ounces and it does 200 loads. And see it has a, a nozzle and what you do, you turn it over and then you, you don't have to pick it up every time, you just use the nozzle. You can do 200 loads, it's only $12.97. I mean, I think that's pretty good. Um, I use, I just use laundry detergent from Aldi. It works great. You know, it's not like we're out there getting super sweaty and dirty or anything. There's Purex, uh, Extra, which I don't think I've ever even tried, but this right here is 170 loads and it's only $7.87. Or you can get this Sun Triple Clean with a dollar off. Sometimes you'll see things with little coupons stuck to them. And when you get ready to check out, you just peel it off and they can scan it. This is $5.97 for 134 medium loads. And they have Tropical Breeze flavor. This is Summer Escape. And there's some Fresh and Clean. And then you get into uh, Tide is a very popular brand of laundry detergent or Arm and & Hammer and they have different versions of that and then we have our infamous packs we've got Tide Pods around here somewhere oh they're down there don't don't eat them I, I, my god okay and they come sometimes they come in a big container like that this is from all and it just has this little whitening core power core packs I've never tried any of these. I, I, I just get plain old liquid detergent. I don't I don't get all fancy with it. Gain has their own. It's called Gain Flings. Don't give them to your kid. Don't <laughs> don't squirt it in your eye. What in the world has this? What have we come to that we have to warn people <laughs> of this stuff? Parcel. I've never tried this. Pro Clean. It's not cheap, I'll tell you that. That's $18 for this one. It must be wonderful, I have no idea. Um, and then you get into the Tide Pods. Ooh, they feel like giant gummy bears. Can't even see them. They don't even want you to look at them. The, the package is completely opaque. You can't, like, nah, you ain't, we don't want to tempt you and make you hungry, so we don't want you to be able to see them. <laughs> They look like that right there. These have Febreze in them. If you're extra smelly, you can get those. And you can get, this is like a candy dish. You could just get a big old candy dish of Tide Pods right here and have a snack later. And then you have just the uh, 
Tide original liquid in the big uh, thing. And again, it has the spout on it, so you just turn it on its side and, and you just use the spout. Or you can get Tide with Febreze. This is Botanical Rain, Spring and Renewal, and Tide Cold Water Clean Original. This has downy fabric softener in it. And then they have Tide Free and Gentle, which um, I used when my kids were little. I would buy uh, stuff like this from, to wash my kids' clothes in. I had really sensitive skin as a baby, and my mom had to be very careful what she washed my clothes in. Uh, my kids didn't really have a problem with it. But boy, I did. Um, yeah, I made my mom's life a living hell because everything she washed my clothes in made me break out in a rash. <laughs> and then we have Glade. These are air fresheners. And we have, look at all, we, it really stinks around here, I guess. Because look, all this, like you come here, all that is air freshener. Now, I'm not a big air freshener user. I really don't. I I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't want my house to smell like um, Lisa Frank's armpit or something. It's just not necessary. Like, you know, if you walk, if you know somebody and you go into their house and it's just always an overpowering, perfumey, scented smell, I don't really, I don't like it, but I mean, you know, to each his own, but I don't want to have an overwhelming scent in my house all the time but a lot of people like it you know they like to have these essential oils like Airwick or Febreze even makes them now um, so I mean a lot of people like to have it smell a certain way and that's fine you can even get plug-ins for your car this is a refill where you stick this in the uh, the little air vent and it sprays out this scent. Um, I, I don't really, I don't really care for it. Um, yeah, I very rarely use stuff like that. I just rather not. Um, but yeah, all that is to make things smell better. <laughs> so I think that's about all for now. Um, oh, somebody was asking about these. We looked at something like this in Dollar General. They wanted to know why it was so expensive. This is not your standard uh, spray air freshener. This is a refill for the thing that goes there. Um, it's like this right here. See, it's this is an automatic sprayer. You put it's battery powered, and you put you put the can in there, and it, and it just on a timer it will spray out the scent. So it's not your regular air freshener it's I think it's concentrated but see you can get now this is what you're thinking about for the regular air freshener and these are only 97 cents a piece so they're really cheap um, but I, I'm not I'm not big on using that kind of stuff I don't I don't have anything like that at my house God, this, somebody about wipe this one out <laughs> it's about empty back there they have different ones too, like they have, this one is a little bit darker color and it comes with cashmere woods. And this one is a lighter color and it comes with Hawaiian breeze. They're not gonna show you this one, but it comes with clean linen scent. So, that sounds like fun. And then Yankee Candle has even gotten into it. They make these little scent things. And I don't see the thing that you put it in but they have all kinds of different scents, like clean cotton, home sweet home, lemon lavender, midsummer night, midsummer's night, Mac and, Macintosh, uh, like the apple, um, sage and citrus. And they have a few scented candles right here, like mahogany driftwood, vanilla bliss. And then you have these little scent they're like gel beads. I know it's kind of silly, but I, I like these water these water beads like this. I like to squish my hand in them because it just it feels squishy. <laughs> and Febreze candles, and of course the little Glade candles too. So 
Oh, there's a black one. Look at that. Ooh, that's fancy. Look at that. There's an Airwick one. That's that's classy. So anyway, I was gonna show you the candy, but I still had a good time showing you the, the cleaning products and stuff. I have, I have stuff. I have people ask me all the time from other countries if I will show you stuff in our stores, and I love doing it because we have such a ridiculous variety of everything. I mean, it's hard to choose sometimes. You know, just if you just want to pick a laundry detergent, it can take you an hour. Oh. So I just wanted to show you some of the stuff. I hope you have a great Independence Day if you're in the United States. And if you live in England, no hard feelings. <laughs> and I'll see you later.